Hey guys, I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tech. Hey guys, I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tech. Today I have a couple unboxings to do. Uh, the R32 is getting the interior work done, working on that now. But these are for the engine work. This is a unique uh, creeper I found. I've got a couple here, but this is pretty unique. I will link the channel if I can find it below that recommended this chair. And this is an oil dolly. So as soon as I'm done with the interior work here, I will be working on the underneath. And since this car lift isn't a full car lift because my garage ceiling's low, I decided these two things will help me out. So let's get unboxing. Uh, let's see what they look like. Let's assemble them and go from there. So first up is this unique creeper. Well, at least I think it's pretty unique. Uh, it also seems to be made for car lifts that um, don't go up all the way. It'd be nice if there's no assembly. <laughs> Oops. There is no assembly. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, so let's see how... So this is what I'm talking about. I'm probably gonna look very graceful sitting down in this. Oh, oh wonderful. So, as you can see, um, oh, actually my phone is sleeping here. It's pretty comfy. So, I will be able to work under this car when it's up all the way uh, while sitting and leaning back and relaxing. Yeah, this is pretty comfy. I think this was $159. Um, this thing was on, it was $99 and on sale for $59 is the worst investment of my life. Aww. This thing is worth the money. I'll put a link down below for this baby. Uh, obviously it goes lie flat as well if you need to go lie flat. But the reason I purchased this one is because just look at it. Come on. Could be like a calendar model on this baby. <laughs> so anyways. Graceful. So setup here so I had to get it so I'm glad I purchased this one let me know what you think about this I think it's perfect for the setup I have all right next up I also found this from the same same channel I've been looking for one but the channel I found it and sorry, I forgot the name. I'll, I'll try to find it. I think I took a picture of, of it. Um, I was looking for this oil pan, if you will, or something similar to this oil pan, when, uh, before I saw his video. But it makes sense to get this oil. I have a regular drip pan for, for oil changes for when I did motorcycles, or do motorcycles, because those have to be obviously low to the ground. But, I want to 
find something a bit more classier, if you will, and practical. So let me just get everything out the box here and show you what I'm working with. Instructions are terrible. You read instructions, they're great, but I don't read instructions. Inside here, there must be a couple of screws. Four wheels, two wing nuts. One wing nut in this pole that screws into the actual oil can. Then there is one pole without a wing nut screw, and then another one with one. So this one goes in, it won't fall down the, the shaft because there's a screw on or a screw place for the wing nut, a bolt. But this is the skinny one which will fall down if you're not careful. Alright, so there's that. Now we get the pan, put it on. The screw is sticking out a bit. You're talking about a Phillips screwdriver. And have I mentioned my tool set before? I know I have. But everything here is a sonic tool set. It makes my life so much easier looking for things. Um, so it's actually great. There is a hole on, on this one pole that uh, this pan screws to and that the screw goes to. So be sure you line that up. Pull that up. And goes on, found the hole. Alrighty, so perfect. That's the lowest it goes. Hopefully it works out, otherwise I'm gonna have to cut this pole down and move uh, a, a bolt down there. I don't have a welder, so hopefully I don't have to do that. Now, on to getting these wheels installed. Well, there you have it, guys. I do think this is a bit too tall to fit under there. I hope it is fine. Uh, I don't really... The wheels don't seem to be that good, but I'm not too worried about this. I'm only going to use it three times, and then it's going to sit for a long time. Uh, it does have drain holes in the, the top of the cap, so that's great. Let the fluid f uh, flow down here. And it does have a catch basin for uh, your, your plug, so that's good. So, link will be in the description below for this uh, and the Creeper. Both I found on one channel, so thank you, that channel. Um, if you haven't checked out his channel, go for it. All I checked out was... Uh, this setup, I don't know how I got got to his channel, but he basically has a, a little lift like this as well. Not a little lift, but a half height lift. And these worked out perfectly for him. So thanks again for YouTube's algorithm for suggesting that video to me. Uh, oops. And thank you for making the video. I have a bunch of other videos up there from garage cabinets to tools to working on my R32 to tracking my R8 over there. If you guys uh, like what you see, please uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and hit the notification bell. I am working on my R32 right now, making it a winter, winter ice racing machine. Uh, after that, I got some exciting projects. In the works but I will be doing tool reviews garage cabinet reviews uh, and basically it's all first-hand experience I am rebuilding this car with all my sonic tools behind me and it is making my life so efficient and easy so thanks again see you next time check you out